uh, that they believe they're working on the assumption that this magma will breach the surface at some point. They have been allowing uh, residents back in small groups under escorts to pick up essential belongings. Uh, but they are now looking at whether they can let people into the streets in the most dangerous area, the, the west side, uh, which is the closest to the, the build-up of this molten rock beneath the surface. Now, they need to do a very careful risk assessment there, work out escape routes and, and make sure that they are accurately monitoring any indication that things might be on the move. It has been stable for quite some time, but uh, overnight there was a break in the power cables in the town, which means the whole of the east, the industrial side, uh, is currently without electricity. They've been allowing workers down the road here uh, while we've been here, uh, looking to see if they can restore power. But as we saw when we were in the town yesterday, there are enormous gashes in the streets there and there was water from the hot water pipes that take um, heating around people's flats and businesses. Those were broken and water was running down into, into the deep. Uh, and you can imagine that electricity cables too are vulnerable uh, it, to those kind of ground movements. But they will see if they can restore power. The, the, the hope is, of course, that this magma cools down, everything settles down and people can return to their homes and they will need infrastructure when they do so.